All right, so um, first things first, we're going to be creating a virtual environment uh, just to store all our dependencies and build um, you know, inside that container. So you know, uh, you know what we're going to do first, just going to CMD and let me just drag it to this other screen so you guys can see it properly. And we're just going to do virtual VMD. And then let's just call this ticket underscore env. Alright, so this is going to create uh, a ticket virtual environment for us, or it's going to create a virtual environment called ticket env. Okay, and then we'll just do cd, which is change directory, into ticket underscore env. And then we'll activate the script, or we're going to just you know tell our computer that we want to activate this virtual environment. Okay, so it's going to be activate. And this is now activated and we can start downloading our dependencies so we'll do pip install django right so since we're going to be working with django we have to install django in uh, inside of this um, um virtual environment i think that makes sense so this is still installing django and just have to wait for some seconds and it's going to be done all right um so we also have other things installed with Django as well. So we have um, T T Z Data, um, SQL Pies, blah blah blah. So we have Django installed that we can check what version we're making use of. Alright, so this is 4.2.6, which is okay. So we'll clear this up and then we can start a new project. So we can say restart project and then we'll just call this Django project. Okay, and then when we change directory into Django project. Alright, so from here we can now start creating our application. So the first one we want to create is uh, start app and then we want to call this account. So this is just to take care of registration, login, logout, change password, etc. Okay, and then the other one we want to create is um, we want to create um, dashboard. So we're going to start from here actually and then we're going to build up. And I also want to create a uh, ticket as well too. All right, um, just hold on, you guys. Let me just check something in my other screen real quickly. Okay. All right, cool. So, um, ticket, right? Cool. So next, we're going to create um, is templates. Makes sense, and then we're gonna all this up in VS Code. So it's on our other screen, and I'm just going to drag it to this other screen so you guys can have a view of it. All right. So what I'll just do is I'll do Control Plus to increase the font so everything can be clear. All right. So we want to go over to Django Project, move over to Settings and PY, and then um, we want to import OS. Okay, so scroll down here and we'll install apps. Yeah, we forgot to do something. Let's install um pip install Django. Um I think this is a widget suite. Alright, so this is yeah, it's already installed. I mean just installed now rather. Okay, so we have our accounts. Let me get that correct. We have accounts. We have dashboard. We have um, tickets. Uh, we have widget tips. Right? Okay, makes sense. So we'll close this out. Let's go over here to accounts. Let's start from here. So we're going to create a uh, form the PI. Alright, we're going to come back to this, but let's go over to model. So I want us to create a custom user model here. So we can extend our default user model functionality. So to do that, we're just going to say from um, Django dot country dot 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 model. So we want to import abstract user, not abstract user, user, abstract user, and then we'll say class. Uh, so we're going to inherit from abstract user. Okay, and then we'll say is customer. Models dot uh, boolean field 
defaults is false. Just need to know we have that wrong field. Okay, default is false. And then email. We have that email field. We need to show. Um, I think this is just that. Okay, so since we've uh, extended the user, the default user uh, model by adding some of our own um, uh, fields here, we need to tell Django that we want to be making use of our own custom user model. So to do that, come over to Django project, settings.py, okay, scroll down, or whatever you want to put it, I just like scrolling down to put it. So we'll just say, um, um, of User model, all right, and then it's going to be accounts dot user. All right, cool. So now we've done this. Let's move over to accounts and we can just clear this out. So we'll come over to form and then we'll say from Django dot country dot of dot forms input user creation form so from Django your country import one import um get user model class get user model class register customer form customer form right and here we're going to have um, user creation form. All right, so we we'll have class um, class matter. So this is going to be user. So we have fields. We have email. We have um, Password one and password two, right? Cool. So we have this set up, set up and then we'll come over to use the PY. Okay, so we need to import something. So we'll import the direct from Bangle.country, import messages from Bangle.country, import, import authenticate. Import login, import logout, and then import get user model. Alright, from form, we want to import, um, from form, we want to import register the form. We just have this here just in case we need to make use of the user model. And then we we'll just get user model. Cool. So we'll create a function called register customer and then pass the uh, parameter called request. So if the request in the first is posts, form is going to be register customer form request posts. So if form that is valid. Right, we have found the same or alternatively, let's just do this way. From the same, the next is going to be false. All right, so we are dot is customer is true. All right, uh, we are the same. Messages dot success. I'll uh, take the requests. Completed. This doesn't. Uh, this time we direct login. So we have else messages dot money requests. So let's check one first. Oh. So 
Okay. Um, okay, so how about that one again? Uh, we'll call this plugin down. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, I think I skipped something. So since here, uh, we saw that. So here, if you look at model.py, I want a scenario when we are, you know, we are going to let uh, our users register with their email so that we can do some validation right also we can use it for validation let's say for example someone has to sign up and then the person um has to sign up put his or her email so that we can now send probably like a code to that an email and then they can retrieve that code and complete the sign up process so um uh, over here we're good. now we're saying that we want to display uh on the registration form we want to display email password one and password two now this would make sense, but um also know that the username is required or is a required field, and you know something that is also very important um, in um, in the Django registration form. So what we can do here is what we we'll say vr dot is customer is equal to true. You can also do something like vr dot um, username, right? Is vr dot email. So I think this makes sense. Okay. Is it nice? Yeah, email. Cool. All right. So um. So if requests requests requests. All right. Let me put in a request here. So I'm just going to put in a request. Uh. If this post posts that gets is a name password first of posts that gets password uh, user is going to be um Authenticate requests by username, username, password, password. If user is not known, then user is active. We will open requests and then we do that. So we can redirect dashboard. So after you log in successfully, I want this to be redirected to the dashboard. If the logo wasn't successful, I want to have a warning message that says something went wrong. Please check on errors. And then return. Redirect. Okay, so else we can under here. Alright, so we have accounts and then we have um, accounts 
and login now. I think this makes sense. Okay, so the next one is going to be logout user. So we click on first and then we just say logout requests the messages and then we messages dot success. Requests as a session and it again to continue return redirect um, login. Okay, and then we are going to do other ones by change password data. Alright, now we're going to do update profile. So change password. I think it was unhap. So I'm probably going to do like a separate video entirely on SSPR, so that is self-service password reset. But for now, I'm just going to do this one because I just want to save time. Okay, cool. So I think we have this registered customer. We have our login user. I don't have the spaces here. Let me just move the spaces. Okay. So, um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just making sure that everything looks very good. All right, cool. So let's come over to uh, so let's come over to account again, and then we'll create another file called the rest of the UI. Just cancel this, cancel this out. So we'll save from Django. Then I was going to import that from this directory. We want to import views. Your patterns. All right, so we have that, and um, register. Customer. Register customer. Okay. Um, part. Login, login user, no help for guys, login user, I will call this login, we have another one again, logout, user, logout user, so the name is logout. We have this now and we can just clear this out. Come over to Django project, here at UI. Come over here and they want to import a code. So we have a path account include account for yes. Cool. So we'll close this out. And uh, let's move over to dashboard and let's do something here too. Let's move over to views. Okay, so we're going to say that and then just call this dashboard and requests. So we say if requests user that is customer, right? So when we time and our requests um, dashboard customer dashboard HTML. Okay, since we don't have any pointers, we have to as test that customer dashboard HTML. Cool. So uh come over here to dashboard and then just have uh, URL so UI. The same thing from Django.urls and code part from code view. So I want this to be like the home view. Okay. So um, we just say path 
This is for NC. Yeah, let's say Josh Jones. New OBS will be Josh Jones. So let's make this like our home view, basically. So come over to project settings of UI. No, sorry, you are out of UI right now. Come over here. Alright, so make this our home view. And we just say include. So we're going with that. Dashboard. Cool. Alright, so now we've done that. Um, I think we can start building up our templates from here. So come over to templates. Alright, and we're going to do for accounts. Templates, we're going to do for that's what I wrote too. Come over here and then we'll just call this dashboard.html. Or alternatively, uh, customer underscore dashboard to um, cool. So here we have page.html. Uh, we have login that is email. I uh, have register. Um, customer that is general. Makes sense, right? Then, um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So, come over. So, let's create another base template again. Uh, but let's just start from. So, let's just delete everything here. Cool. And let's start from this base. Alright, so we'll just move right here and put this towards my HTML. Alright, I'll just drag in login. Okay, cool. Then just paste it in here. Alright, cool. So I'll come over here and uh, we'll just do. I'll do block heading. Okay. And then block heading. Makes sense. And then I would come over here and do block content. Oh, sorry. And and the content for the time 23 minutes. All right, let me just be done with this so I can call it quits here. But let's copy this out. Come over to login with this channel. So I'll just extend account with this channel. Look for them. And drop heading. So you have block content and block content. All right, so come over here and then paste this. So copy everything and also paste it here as well. So come over to login. Um, drop. Uh, so let's do um, log in to continue, right? So we're going to call this. So here we're just going to choose some basic things we already know. So method is going to be post and this is the security token. Alright, um, this one is just going to call it email and name. I'm going to put username here for, back for validation. And this is going to be password. Alright, uh, I want to remove this placeholder from here. Remove this placeholder from here as well, too. 
uh, remember we are just going to remove this. Then sign up. So we're going to do no. We'll just start customer, right? No, I think this makes sense. Go to register customer, and we are going to do um, welcome to. And good tickets. Alright, so we're going to load widget script so we can make use of it. Okay, so visits, make sure this is post, then add our security. So it's actually cross site request, but we uh, just for things like SQL injections and um, Cross site scripting basically. Uh, okay, so come over here and we're going to do render query form dot email and then we'll just take the uh, form control here, just take that, and we'll give it a bit for styling and then we can just delete this one here. All right, cool. Uh, so we can just copy this one. All right, paste there, paste there. So we'll call this password one. All right, and we can just say confirm password. Sorry, enter password. All right, this is going to be. Password two. Confirm password. Makes sense, right? Um, so we can just delete this one, and then we'll call this one sign up. So we should already have an account. Uh, we say sign in, and then we'll just route this to login. I think this makes sense. So let's before we do this, um, let's come over to let's come over to dashboard reviews. So like I said, this is the home dashboard, so which means that when you go to the root URL for this web app, it takes you to this view. But I don't want I don't want people to be able to or I don't want our customers to be able to access this view without them being logged in first. So to do something like that, all we'll have to do is put a declarator here. So we'll say from declarators import um login required. Okay, we'll just do login required here. Okay, so I think it's time to also create this page of HTML here. So come over here and come over to home. Just drag this one. This is HTML. I'll put it in here as well. So let's move this. So I'll just make some basic changes. Uh, I'll call this Django tickets. I think I didn't call it the same thing here. Uh, Django tickets. Okay, jungle um, tickets. Right. Jungle uh, tickets. Is that just basically? All right, cool. So come over here and then. Block content and block content. So you can just copy this one here. Come over to dashboard. So it's going to be extends HTML. So it's going to block content. And 
Alright, so it's going to be customer dashboard. Okay, so I think we've uh, made some changes so far, and then I think it's time for us to see what we've done uh, in the HTML and in the UI. What's the time now? 10 minutes. Okay, so let's see. Let's just do a migration. Okay, and then. Alright. Run server. So run this and you can see templates not found. So the reason why we're having this is the reason why we're having this I oh, hold on that wasn't wrong. The reason why we're having this right now is because we didn't set the directory, the template directory here. So OS .pad. Okay, join. Templates. Okay. So now you can see how this looks. Now we have to log in, all right, before we can proceed to the dashboard. You can also sign up as well too. Okay, I didn't put something here. I thought I did. Let's see. Uh, come over to templates uh, accounts. Uh, register customer. Hold on. Hold on. That should be here. Okay. I didn't. Okay, so let's do this again. So welcome to Django Tickets, right? You have an email address, password, blah blah blah. So we're gonna create we're gonna create a new user, right? So we can look at how the dashboard is gonna look like. So we're gonna do test user one at email.com. Then but before that, we didn't do something. Uh, put it forward to Bootstrap. Uh, let's look at components and let's look at that. Scroll down here. I'm just going to copy this. All right. And uh, let's move over to this one here. Let's go to bootstrap.html. Um, here. Yes. So here we're going to do. Hold on. Yeah, so let's do it messages. Or message in messages. Put this in here. Nope. My document. Uh and for and if Okay, so this is going to be message tags. All right, and then no, that's not. Message. So we'll just copy this one as well, too. And uh, in this one here, paste it in here as well, too. Uh, for my documents. I think this makes a lot of sense. Yes, so let's just clear things up here. Make it look good. I believe, hold on, I think I believe. Okay, just, just checking. All right, cool. So let me just close up piece of these things here. Make it look good. Let's go over to this one again. We can just um, close this out. Okay, so let's 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 do this again. Test is a one at email dot com. 
Open Start Password. Alright, so we'll sign up. Account created, please log in. So, test user 1. Okay, and then we'll sign in. And now we can see we are logged into the customer dashboard. Makes sense, right? Like I said, this is the home directory here, customer dashboard. So I think we're going to stop here and then continue again in uh, the next video and to explore more functionalities that we're going to do. All right, uh, bye for now.